Okay, so in addition to templates, you have the ability to make a completely custom design. So you start by picking out your background, and you can use one of their pre-designed backgrounds, and it'll cover the whole thing. You can also pay for a background. Solid colors or patterns. You can also search for images. And let's just pick one. There we go. And with these, you will have to stretch it to fit and give it your own zones if it doesn't take up the whole one. And so this will be the background for the top half where the picture doesn't cover. And then we have elements. So this is going to be lines to help kind of break up the different sections of the images. So we'll play around with a couple different ones and see what we like. And stretch it all the way across. Okay, and you can even change the color of the lines slash borders to see how you like it in a different color. And play around with a couple different things, see if I like any of these. All right, let's delete this. Try something else. Line this up. Stretch it all the way across. Illustration, see if there's anything in here. And I don't see anything I like. See, and you would just click and it would go there if there was something that you wanted. And then these were layouts. If you didn't want to do this by hand, you could pick these and it'll automatically separate them for you. So you can do it diagonally. This would be a frame and see if we like this up at top at all. And then you want to arrange, send to back. That way what you already have will be on top. So again, delete. I don't think there's going to be any frames in here that I'm really fond of. So these are the pre-designed texts and it'll already have different sizes and different positionings. So let's try this one for my wine club. All right, so I'm just going to play around with a couple different wordings of this to see what I think. And then you can tell like the hottest VIP is in bold, so that'll attract more attention. So I'm just going to play around with a couple different things and see what really stands out the most because I want to convey that this is an exclusive VIP wine club. So those are the things I really want to draw their attention to because the wine is kind of already the focus because of the picture. So change the size to see if I can get it to fit up in this area. Separate it. And you have to do the text one by one when you use these pre-designed because they're separate text boxes. So the is a separate text box from hottest VIP, even separate from wine club. So delete that and play around a bit, see what we want. And close that, open up lines to see if I can find one that's going to look a little better with this font. And that's really the secret to making good images is that you just continue to play around with it. You know, find something that you like and then just keep messing with it and see if it's the best that's really out there. You don't have to make this fast. You can take a long time um, and just really get it exactly how you want. So I really like this. So I'm probably going to keep with this one. And let's just see what else I can do. If there's any icons or shapes that I want to kind of tie this all together. Let's see if I can change that background at all. And these are more font options. 
Let's try some of these fun ones to see if we like any of these. Let's try this one. Okay, and that's, I think, is just going to be a little too busy with everything else that I'm doing for this. So let's try this, because that kind of matches the diagonal stripes that I have at the bottom. Stretch that out so it fits. Let's see if I can get it to go down a little wider. Move that out of the way. And you can always just move it to the side and then bring it back if you don't want to actually delete it. Okay, and I'm already not a fan of this one, but we'll just play around with it and see where it goes. Stretch it out so the words aren't on top of each other. Maybe I can space these out a little because I don't like how they're on top of each other and it makes it really hard to read. Stretch it out. Yeah, and I'm still just not a fan of this. Maybe try a different word since the letters won't be stacked on each other. Okay, so get rid of that and let's try something a little different. Wait for it to load. Okay, let's pull it up. All right, and this one has some different contrast, which is really nice. It's got the orangey color up at the top, and then it gives you a place to put your main text. So this says featuring, let's change that. Something a little different. Stretch it out so it is the right size. Let's maybe change this color. Introducing. It's even green. My VIP Wine Club. So introducing my VIP Wine Club. And I actually really like this one. Let's just take a quick look to see if there's anything else. Okay, so we're going to go with this. Now you can share this either with email, social media, or a link. And you can also embed it if you want to do that, but it has to be public. So you can make that public right there. It just means that anyone can see it. And then download. I always do the PNG, the recommended. And then it'll download right to your computer. All right, and then again, you can share it on social media. And this will be saved in your Canva drive as well. And there you go. That is how you make a custom Canva social media post.